Uh, hello class. For this project, I'm going to talk about the market structure oligopoly. The theory regarding oligopolies is that, one, there are few sellers and many buyers. Two, they sell homogeneous and differentiated products. And three, there are significant barriers to enter this oligopoly status, you know? Though it's illegal here in the U.S., oligopolies could form into cartels where they can join up with their business rivals, act as one firm, and set prices and outputs that would boost all of their joint profits. It's crazy. Uh, for example, Google is one of the more prominent oligopolies that we see today. Even though it isn't a monopoly despite its size and all that, Google has control over a lot of goods and services that consumers use today. Statistics show that as a search engine, Google makes up over 90% of all searches on a desktop computer. And they answer to around 3.5 billion searches daily. It's nuts. Though it's most known for, you know, a search engine, Google provides many different services to its customers, like Chrome, the internet browser, Google Maps, the map services that I use to get to school sometimes. YouTube, you know, that video sharing website that I'm using right now to present my presentation to you guys like normal. You know, so many things. It's, it's nuts. To verify Google as an oligopoly, the top three, four firms in the industry must make up almost the entire market with a concentration ratio at around 60-90% between them. Looking at the net market share for search engines online, the data shows that Google makes up, you know, 84% of the market, followed close behind by Baidu with a whopping 7%. Looking at the data, it's safe to assume that these firms are oligopolies. As we saw how Google has a great variety of products and services, there are firms and entities that operate within this oligopoly's grasp. As an example, let's look at Android. Though it's an operating system known for its incorporation in phones like, you know, Samsung Galaxy, you know, stuff like that. The firm is owned and developed in part by Google. Whoa, nuts. If monopolies were legal, I'm sure Google would be one by now. But either way, that's the gist of what oligopolies are. Thanks for watching.